Hey everybody, so since I reviewed the first movie a while ago, I thought might as well watch the sequel. So this time I'm going to review Monster High 2. So the plot of this movie is after the events of the first movie, uh, Claudine Wolf is a really popular uh, student among Monster High, and of course her little group of friends from the first movie all have fun together. But then they find out that there's these witches joining the school, and they find out that they have this evil plot to rid the world of vampires, and obviously because one of the the members of the squad, Draculaura, is a vampire, so they have to form together to stop all these witches and uncover a bunch of conspiracies and hopefully keep Draculaura within Monster High. You know, I don't really have much to say about this movie because... If anything, the best way to put it is, if you like the first one, you'll like it fine. I mean, the first movie was actually surprisingly pretty decent. Like, I did watch it mostly because I was just in a Halloween mood. And it was better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't th have much expectations, but it was creative, it was interesting, it was cute. And yeah, that's kind of what you get from this movie. It's... It's pretty good. Although, I will give the movie this, though. One thing above the first movie, I think, is that the production values are a lot better. I guess that explains why this is under Nickelodeon's movie label, not the first one. I guess because this one felt more movie quality. But, yeah, because, like, lots of the... Hang on, I got a battery warning. Like I was saying, the production values are way better. The CGI, like the CGI is not, it's still not exactly great, but it does look a lot better. The shading's a lot better. It looks, it kind of pops more and blends in well. It definitely looks a lot better. The costumes and makeup are still really good. That's one thing the first movie did really have. It did have really good costume designs. And like, just like the first movie, even at the end, you can see like all the makeup and behind the scenes stuff, although... Here, it, it was mostly just outtakes in the credits, but that aside, like, the movie, it's fun. Like, if you enjoyed the first movie, I think you'll definitely get a kick out of this one. I think it's even better than the first one, because I think it had a more interesting plot. The production values were better. The climax was definitely a lot more fun, because it actually felt, you know, okay, it wasn't big, but I guess for a streaming movie, I guess it for a streaming kids movie it actually felt pretty good it was a lot more interesting and over the top and it's definitely a I thought it was a lot more fun than the first movie the first movie was good and cute and harmless and this one is kind of more or less the same but in a way there's a lot of things that I think it does better and so I'm really surprised like I mean even as someone who thought the first movie was just good like this movie was legitimately not bad I mean I didn't love it, but it was actually quite interesting. Like, even as someone who never grew up with Monster well, I mean, Monster High came out when I, like, the dolls came out, I was, like, in third or fourth grade, so obviously I probably wasn't growing up, essentially, at the time, but it's fun. They actually tried to make it, you know, a fun, you know, film for kids and even families in general, because I think even if you're not a girl or you didn't really play with the dolls, like, there's still a lot of imagination put into it. It's very, it's basically like a good Halloween film for kids. It's not scary. It's not, there's nothing disturbing in it. It's just, you know, a fun, kind of goofy, over-the-top film. It's, it's a pretty fun film. I really can't believe I enjoyed this as much as I did, even as someone who just thought the first one was okay and pretty good. But this movie, legit, was pretty good. I mean... Like, it, it's not in my top ten of the year, no. But it was actually pretty good. I actually do admire that they actually tried to make this a lot more fun, and they put way more effort in it than they needed to, and it's it's a pretty good film. I, I don't think I'll watch it every Halloween, but you know what? It's actually pretty good once in a while. And even though it takes place after the first movie, you don't essentially need to watch it because like they kind of recap everything at the beginning but I mean it's back to back it's a pretty good double feature I think it's it's a 
cute, harmless Halloween film for kids. I think it's it, it's pretty fun. So, yeah. I mean, it's not Barbie, just like the first one. No, that's a doll movie that was a lot better. I enjoyed that a lot more than this. But this was still pretty good. And so, yeah, Monster High 2. Can't believe I'm saying this, but it was even better. And I actually genuinely recommend it if you want to watch something with your kids this Halloween. It's pretty good. And just just like the Loud House Halloween uh the really haunted loud house like it's good that this month lately nickelodeon's giving us halloween movies because the only one we ever got was fun size which was pretty funny but so it's good they're pumping out more and i don't know if i said but i am gonna rank every nickelodeon movie next month because good burger 2 is out i doubt that'll include under the boardwalk because that's supposed to be a limited release so yeah, I might not include that, and I don't know if my theaters will show it, but Monster High 2, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's not something, like I said, it's not something I'd watch again and again. It definitely won't be in my top 10 of the year, but it was legitimately fun. I actually thought it was pretty good. It's, it's not, like I said, it's not Barbie. Like, they didn't put way too much effort more than they needed to. They put just the right amount of effort. Like, it's good enough. There's... It improves on the first movie in a lot of ways, and that does make it a genuinely fun movie. So, yeah, Monster High 2, it's it's quite good, actually. I'm legitimately not joking. It's actually pretty... It was pretty fun as for a Halloween kids movie. It's It was cute, and if you have Paramount+, Plus, I'd say check it out. So, yeah, that's my review of Monster High 2. So, we'll see you with, I don't know, whatever I got in my sleep next, so... Take care.